experience things, and then they're over. I can't sleep. And when I do, I have nightmares. Hello and welcome to the Apple Tree. My name is Wormy, and today I'm going to be talking about Iron Man 3 and why it was such a great movie, and it is a Christmas movie in my opinion. Spoiler warning as I'm going to go into some of the plot details of what this movie was about, and then I'm going to discuss uh, why I think it's a Christmas movie. So this movie starts off, it's after the Battle of New York, and Tony is having some anxiety attacks from what happened at the Battle of New York, so he's really trying to cope with that by building more suits in case something happens in the future. However, as he's going to do that and trying just to live somewhat of a normal life, a uh, new villain known as the Mandarin shows up and is killing people by using uh, bombs that no one can trace. Some people call me a terrorist. I consider myself a teacher. So it's up to Tony Stark to work with, by himself, he, no, nobody wants to help him. So he's kind of like on his own trying to figure out what's going on with the Mandarin and how he is blowing these people up. So Tony makes an issues a threat to the Mandarin, tells him that he wants to, if he wants him, he can come and get him, tells him where his home address is, and the Mandarin responds by coming and blowing up Iron Man's house. Lesson number one. Heroes. There is no such thing. So in the end, Tony Stark is assumed dead after this attack and he's left for dead so but the public thinks he's gone but in reality he actually survived the attack and now he's going undercover without a suit to try to defeat the mandarin which gives tony kind of the ability to show that he's not just a suit he is the person behind the suit and he's able to live and defeat evil without the suit so that's kind of what happens in this movie i'm not going to give any more of the details that may ruin the experience for you watching because it, it is a good movie but here's my reasons i think it is a good christmas movie you do see some scenes in which you've got uh tony stark dancing to jingle bells you have um you have uh, christmas trees you have tony giving pepper a huge stuffed animal uh outside and then you have all kinds of other things that kind of point to Christmas. You got some Merry Christmases. And it just makes it somewhat of a Christmas movie. Now, it may be debatable, just like a Die Hard is always a debate uh, with a Christmas movie. But it's still a great movie for action-adventure fans and Marvel fans that want to watch something that has something to do with Christmas uh, during this Christmas season. Uh, what are your thoughts? Is it a Christmas movie to you? Did you like this movie? Uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, we can discuss that further. Thank you.